us today. Um, okay. Nesrin, you're 17. Uh, you grad graduated in February uh, from high school with a Swiss baccalaureate. Um, you're planning to study finance as of September. You were uh, your true world citizen. You were born in Algeria, have French citizenship, grew up in Switzerland, and your family is now in Dubai. Um, you've also been involved in a number of uh, nonprofit activities, and you've been the president of your um, school's uh, gov student government association. Uh, we're very, very happy to have you um, with us today. You, you told me that when you, you discovered the program for this event and, and you saw the title and you saw the title of the session for today about dreaming the future, um, your thoughts immediately went to Algeria. Uh, can you tell us about the, the future you dream of for Algeria and, and maybe the, the steps to get there? Thank you so much. Um, so yes, uh, as you said, I was born in Algeria and lived there for six years before moving to Switzerland. Um, so Algeria is not only where most of my family and friends live, uh, it is also my happy place. Uh, it is my home. Uh, I truly believe it is a beautiful country with an incredible culture. Uh, unfortunately, its potential uh, isn't fully exploited. Uh, there are many things I dream about regarding Algeria's future. Uh, I would like to improve the educational aspect, uh, the healthcare system, the ecological aspect, and many other things. Um, one may think, think that it is easy to dream uh, and that it is a waste of time, but as a famous quote says, uh, dreaming is uh, planting the, the, the seeds of our future. Uh, so I believe dreaming is the first step that everyone needs to go through to achieve uh, their, their goal, uh, their goals in life. Um, and thinking about how to get there is I would say another phase uh, uh, to get there. It is the end of the route and the beginning uh, of the of this team. Uh, so to answering your question without going into too much details, uh, it could be extremely complicated. Uh, it, was, it would take a lot of time. Um, every minute that passes uh, is just another chance to change everything and uh, to, to change something that could change everything. Uh, and that every small act can have an enormous impact, uh, even if it it is only dreaming, uh, it is already a big step. I feel like people are not uh, aware of how they can change things. Uh, so I feel like communication is a big part we need to improve today. Uh, people need to know how they can change things because people are aware, uh, especially with social media today or on the news, and, newspaper people know that um, there are things we need to change but they just don't know how uh, so yeah I would say communication uh, is a big part maybe as a follow-up on that we had uh, once this interesting discussion in, in, in the youth board of gem with with this quote that i mentioned the other day of a tree that falls makes more noise than, than a forest that, that grows and we had this whole discussion about I mean, the media and and, and the role it, it, it like how, how, how do you think one can also help um, change this perception around us, like this perception that the world is entirely falling apart? How, how can we also kind of bring light to all these positive things that are happening um, at, at, at the personal concrete level? Like, how, how can we do it? Um, there are many beautiful things still happening today that we don't realize and that we don't know of. Uh, so I feel like we should bring those things up a bit more to give people more hope and uh, to make people realize that the world isn't all dark and you can do anything, you can change anything. It's not that. It is there, there are so many things that you can do uh, at your own level, some beautiful things. Uh, we just need to share them more and uh, to realize them more. It is a hard question because I still struggle today uh, in my personal life to find some trustworthy people to, to work with. 
Um, I am often disappointed uh, when I ask uh, for work to be done and it is not, and I have to do it. And it is a lot of pressure for me. Um, so I believe you, we, we all need to, to have our trustworthy team that we built through the years, uh, but also welcome uh, other people and be open to, to other people. Uh, and how, how can you know if uh, they are trustworthy? I mean, you can't, <laughs> you just need to trust them and to, to, to see. Um, so yeah, take risks and uh, be open to, to others. The future is, uh, is hope. The future is taking actions and, um, and be, being open to everyone. Bye. <laughs>